This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Matter. I'm Ray Collins. Busy morning. We've got a major traffic mm -hmm. issue for you on University at 75 and also a big blob of rain <laughs> heading this way. John Scalzi has details. Good morning, sir. That is indeed the meteorological term, blob. <laughs> and that blob is headed our way. Yay! Right. It's rainfall around here. Glad yeah. to see that. Yeah. In fact, we could get some uh, significant rainfall considering what we have had and considering that this is generally speaking kind of a, a dry month. So it'll be nice to see something. We have lots of lightning pops as well coming with this, this system, with this blob. Uh, but the tendency will be for those lightning pops to, to kind of decrease in intensity and number as it gets closer to shore. Still, we have the potential of seeing maybe some half inch rainfalls in some locations. More than likely, a lot of places are going to get like a quarter inch rainfall or less. But nevertheless, we could use that rain so badly. So we'll watch that system now about 30 miles offshore, gradually drift in this direction. I think in the next hour or so, we're going to see that move on shore. Within that red box that I've highlighted, I've had over 300 lightning strikes in the last hour. So there's plenty of lightning out there, but the tendency is for it to have decreased in number over the last hour. So this is a weakening system as it approaches shore. We'll put the rain chance today, though, good at about 70% through the morning hours. I think by afternoon, we're going to see some significant clearing. We'll talk about that and investigate this storm system a little more deeply in just a few minutes. Back to you guys. All right, taking a look at Suncoast Roadways this morning. Traffic in Manatee County, pretty quiet. See a little bit of congestion on State Road 70 and 301, also towards 41 and Cortez. But other than that, no accidents in Manatee County. As we head into Sarasota County, a little bit of congestion on 41 and Bee Ridge Road. We also do have a traffic alert to tell you about. The westbound lane of University Parkway was closed overnight. It'll be closed until 6 a.m. this morning. It'll also be closed tonight through 6 a.m. tomorrow due to construction on that diverging diamond. Again, motorists are asked to travel, if they are traveling west, directed to take I-75 north and then get off of State Road 70 west. Then as we head into South County, pretty quiet on this Friday morning. Our top story this morning, the latest update on a former Sarasota County Sheriff's deputy accused of attempted murder. Frankie Bybee back in court this morning. He's facing 20 felony charges for allegedly befriending an elderly woman, stealing her money, and then trying to kill her while making it look like a suicide. Bybee's defense claims she was a, has a history of mental health issues. He's pleading not guilty. We'll have more on this story today at noon. Also new this morning, a Sarasota man who intentionally set a pet rabbit on fire has been sentenced in court. Manasseh Walker, seen here, was found guilty of aggravated animal cruelty and sentenced to a year behind bars. Deputies say last June, the 23-year-old admitted to burning his girlfriend's rabbit, but claimed it was an accident. A veterinarian examined the rabbit and said the injuries were not consistent with Walker's story. By the way, the rabbit did survive but lost its ears. He now lives at the Wildlife Center of Venice. New overnight, a Northport woman says she's lucky to be alive after being held captive in her own home. The suspect is a neighbor who was living right across the street from her. ABC 7's Rick Adams spoke with the victim about what she went through. It was a very frightening ordeal for the woman who lives in this home. Mary Corbett tells us she was bound and held captive for several hours in her very own home. This normally quiet home in this usually quiet neighborhood was anything but peaceful on Wednesday. Mary Corbett's feet, hands and chest were bound by duct tape to a chair for around seven hours at her home in the 5700 block of Espanola Ave in Northport. Then he took a washcloth, put it in my mouth and taped my mouth and put me in a closet for a while, and then he put me in another closet, then he put me in the bedroom. Police say 50-year-old Anthony Brigitzer is the man who held Corbett captive. He's someone who would do some handiwork in and around his neighbor's home. Corbett says she was frightened for her life, especially after Brigitzer had located a gun in the home. It's pretty bad. I was walking around with that gun. I thought I was going to get shot in the head any minute. Brigitter eventually let Corbett go and fled the home. That's when the 70-year-old reached out to a neighbor, and that neighbor contacted police. Brigitter was eventually located in Lee County and arrested. Northport police say it appears all this happened because he was willing to do anything to get his hands on money for drugs. He ransacked the home looking for whatever he could get his hands on, saying he needed 
uh, money to support his methamphetamine habit. Brenda McCord and her family live just a few houses down from the victim. She is shocked and saddened that this happened in her neighborhood. It scared the crap out of me. I am glad that she is okay. Brigitter is charged with grand theft of a firearm, battery, and kidnapping. As for Corbett, she tells us that she remains pretty shaken. It's just like I'm numb, and it's really not good. It'll take me a little while to get over this. Brigitter went in front of a judge on Thursday where no bail has been set. He remains behind bars at the Sarasota County Jail. Reporting from Northport, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. An undercover prostitution sting has led to the arrest of multiple men in Sarasota. The Sarasota Police Department's Street Crimes Unit conducted the operation along North Tamiami Trail, targeting individuals that were soliciting prostitutes. As a result, five men were charged for solicitation. One of those men was also charged with possession of cocaine and marijuana. New this morning, a win for those who want to dredge Big Pass to re-nourish Lido Key. According to the Herald Tribune, Tribune, an administrative law judge has ruled that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers' plans are not the same as the county's plans, and it's also not enough to stop hearings on a state permit to stop the dredging. The project calls for dredging more than one million cubic yards of sand to re-nourish Lido Beach. Several Siesta Key property owners had requested the judge stop it. The Siesta Key Association had filed a lawsuit in an effort to halt it back in January. The group claims the dredging will violate the environmental chapter of Sarasota County's comprehensive plan. On a lighter note, Manatee County wants to make sure you're safe in the pool next month. This morning, they're kicking off a summertime outreach campaign. It's aimed at raising pool and water safety awareness. According to Manatee EMS, there were 26 drowning and near-drowning incidents last year and also a rise in child incidents recently. The campaign comes just in time for April Pools Day, not April Fool's Day. The quirky holiday kicks off a full month where paramedics and other public safety officials will work to spread water safety awareness throughout Manatee County. Switching gears a bit, a new noise ordinance in the city of Bradenton has businesses and neighbors raising their voices about its potential negative impacts. The new ordinance calls for a decibel level of 75 from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday and midnight on Friday and Saturday. It also moves the measure point, which greatly affects those numbers from the property line of the restaurant or bar to the point of complaint instead. Council members say it's all part of an attempt to balance the needs of neighbors and businesses. And those new trolleys that you've seen at, at Siesta Key offering free rides are pretty popular so far. More than 10,000 passengers have used the Siesta Key breeze since it began on March 20th. Sarasota County Area Transit is running the trolley as a pilot program for the next six months. It's free to ride and runs from the Siesta Village down to Turtle Beach and then back. You can catch a ride any day of the week from 8 a.m. until midnight. An update now on warm mineral springs getting closer to a national historic status. According to the Herald Tribune, city commissioners in Northport have added three buildings to the city's new historic register within the complex. These structures are part of the Springs Activity Center and were first constructed in the late 1950s. The actual springs themselves were listed on the register back in 1977. A fourth grade class at Southside Elementary School is celebrating a major accomplishment. The class has written and published its own book entitled The Best Part of Us. The students wrote and created art about what they viewed as the best part of themselves touches my heart and my soul you know when I see their excitement that they get when they're, they're tearing into it but you know when, when the kid struggles and they suddenly see that I'm a published author I, I do great work it's going to give them that incentive to keep really learning to wanting to read and write even more it makes me happy because like people can see what I have done so I don't have to go around to each person and say oh look what I have done they already ha see it and it, it we call that a great soundbite. The uh, teacher says the book was a way for students to learn about their differences and also how to accept others as well. 
Well, students at Pineview School in Osprey will be taking part in a hovercraft project this morning. They'll work together to problem solve and create their own hovercrafts. Pretty cool, right? But there's no word on whether or not they'll actually fly them. That starts at 9 o'clock this morning and lasts the entire school day. Sounds like a wonderful Friday for those kids. I wish I was there <laughs> building a hovercraft. Yeah, I hope it's indoors, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at least during the morning hours, absolutely. Right. Yeah. I always wanted a hovercraft as a really? kid. Really? Oh. oh, yeah. They look I, like wanted, I wanted a baseball fun. glove and you wanted a hovercraft. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Only John Scalzi. It'd be, it'd be fun. What a great thing to, uh, to do in the classroom today. Uh, boy, we got some weather out there. Yeah, That's like great to see. Uh, we'll talk about that coming up in just a few. Well, still ahead, a taste of the red carpet hits the Sun Coast. We'll have the very latest on the Sarasota Film Festival. And later in the hour, a Manatee County teacher suspended after an alleged case of child abuse inside a classroom. Details coming up. There's a whole new way to bank with Achieva Checking Plus. You get new features like cell phone protection for three phones, plus an interest-bearing account. And that's good to know. Discover all the benefits at AchievaCU.com. Achieva, banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice Volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. All right. Actually, you know how Tom had knee surgery? Sure. We found out Brad's been taking his painkillers. It turns out he's been doing it for a while. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. Attention sleep apnea sufferers. If you use CPAP therapy, if you have private insurance or you're on a Medicare replacement plan, we may be able to help you get your CPAP supplies at little or no cost to you and free shipping. Most insurance companies allow a patient to get a new CPAP mask, cushion, filter, and tubing every three to six months to prevent respiratory infection and skin sores. That's why you should call AmeriCare CPAP. Call 800-423-5457. That's 800-423-5457. There's a whole new way to bank with Achieva Checking Plus. You get new features like full ID theft protection, and that's good to know. Discover all the benefits at AchievaCU.com. Achieva, banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Yay, we got rain. As drought indexes continue to rise, we really needed some rainfall around here. Five and a half inches low so far and uh, for the year. And it looks like we're going to add a little bit to the rain bucket today. 65 degrees, the current air temperature. We have a dew point of 63. Clouds out there. Rain's not really on shore yet, but boy, is it close. Temperatures across the region generally hovering around the 70 mark right along the coastline. Inland temperatures coming in in the mid 60s. There's our cloud cover that's gradually drifting in our direction. Back behind it, some clearing skies. There's our afternoon weather. A little bit more sunshine around and that dry air indicated by the tan contour on water vapor imagery covering most of the Gulf waters. That's our weekend weather. So we're going to get these rain showers out of the way here pretty quickly, and then we're going to move into some beautiful weekend weather. Can't beat that. Get the rains in here, out of here in time for the weekend. Now, we've got a lot of lightning pops out here in Gulf waters, but if you 
put this into motion and watch over the last four hours, you'll kind of notice one thing. The number of strikes just here in the last hour or so have been decreasing with the bulk of the heavier showers drifting southward in the water. As it comes into the shelf waters closer to the shore, we have less frequent lightning strikes, an indication of a dying system. Uh, one of the things we can do with our radar is take a look at the inside of these storms and, and get a feel for whether or not we're looking at severe weather. And we are not with this particular system. We are looking at some individual clusters of cells, though, that have some pretty good rainfall rates. Let's go right inside the storm system and see what we find. And, and you can see it's some of these cloud top heights are uh, coming in at about uh, 20,000 feet or so, 30,000 feet. So with those kind of cloud heights, you're not looking at severe weather. But we are getting some frequent lightning strikes, and we don't want to see that move on shore because with that kind of a situation and with the dry conditions that we have had, could trigger off a few uh, uh, fires, uh, wildfires. So hopefully we won't have that situation. Now, if you look at the Titan impacts with this storm system, the major one is going to be the rainfall, which is great. That's what we need. We don't have a big wind impact. We don't have a big hail impact. So that that's good news. I mean, if you're going to get rainfall, that's the way to get it. We do have a severe weather threat in the country today, though, but it's located well to the north of us. Now, look at these drought indexes, the fire danger indexes across the state. And you can see that in our area particularly, we are in the high, even some extreme values in north central Florida. So these rain showers are going to be great to see. And as I mentioned, we'll get them in here over the next, uh, say, four or five hours, and then they'll be out of here. So we'll put the rain chance today high, and it will be breezy as this front moves through. Rip current issues along our area beaches are a problem. And then over the weekend, beautiful weather. Now next week, a little bit unsettled. We'll talk more about that in the next half hour. Back to you guys. All right, taking a look at Suncoast Roadways this Friday morning. Traffic increasing throughout Manatee County, but no accidents to report. Nothing to be concerned about other than State Road 70 and 301. Seeing a little bit of congestion as we head into Sarasota County. A little bit of congestion on Bee Ridge Road, also towards north of Sarasota. Minnesota area. There is a traffic alert we need to tell you about. The westbound lane of University Parkway was closed overnight. That will be closed until 6 a.m. this morning. It will also be closed tonight through 6 a.m. tomorrow due to that construction on the Diverging Diamond Project. So keep an eye out for that. Pick an alternate route if you are going through that area. As we head into South County, a little bit of congestion in the Venice area. But other than that, no accidents to report on this Friday morning. In other news, a successful belly landing for a twin engine plane in East Florida. Authorities say the plane's landing gear failed to fully extend, forcing that pilot to make the daring emergency landing at Daytona Beach International Airport on Thursday. Several of the runways at the airport had to be temporarily evacuated, but the pilot and passenger did make it out safely, and luckily no one was hurt. On Capitol Hill, new legislation will help the future of weather forecasting. The Weather Research and Forecast Innovation Act of 2017 cleared the Senate this week and now heads to the president's desk. It gives the go-ahead to establish a number of programs to enhance forecasting and alerts for programs, such as improving tornado warnings, weather research and watch and warning systems for the short term and long term. It also offers guidance on which programs should get the more than $170 million already budgeted by the President and Congress. Speaking of weather, a tornado caused some damage in the Northwest. That's right, but for the people who witnessed the storm, they say it could have been much worse. Mitch Pittman has more. Not our typical day in Monroe, not at all. What started out like any other rainy morning. We all saw were branches, rain. Became very unusual at 10.32. It started taking everything up. My trash cans were flying everywhere. My tent was flying everywhere. I was kind of hanging on it, like almost like a monkey in a sense, trying to hold everything down. Speedway RV Center recently installed cameras to keep an eye on the lot. And sure enough, they got a good look at what tipped over two trailers onto an employee's car. You can see the trees bend, the trailers pushed, a truck lifted, and just after what looks like a funnel touching the ground, two trailers topple over. Turn around and look, all of a sudden I heard a freight train running through my front yard. Mark Mills's house had shingles ripped off, a fence blown down, and he barely missed getting caught outside with his dog. The dog was safely inside the car. Five minutes earlier, if I would have been ugly. They were on the way to the skate park, of all places. But now have to settle for a street full of police and TV crews. There were no injuries, but it could have been 
very different. It's a convertible now. What remains of that car down there belongs to mechanic Tyler Machoni. Oftentimes I'll take my break in my car. Decided to take a little later today. And that's the spirit here in Monroe. It's only things that were damaged. The security system works. This dog gets to skateboard another day. And Tyler chose to drive this car to work today instead of his brand new Mustang. My beater is my beater. It's a little more beat up than it was before now. Wow. Wow. Damage <laughs> Speechless, there. Speechless, I know. Mm -hmm. Well, still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast, World Backup Day is today. Why you're being urged to back up your computers and smart devices. And at 530, controversy continues in North Carolina over a bathroom bill. Why activists say it still doesn't provide full protection. We'll have both sides coming up. With a top prize of $10 million, the new $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery is your ticket to take on the world. world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery. One of our life-changing scratch-offs offering billions in cash prizes. Thank you. You got a king? Go fish! It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422. 800-685-6422. And welcome back 523 on Friday morning. Well, SpaceX has made aerospace history by launching a recycled rocket. Candace Gibson and Mara Shavakampo have the story. Hey there, in today's Tech Bites, a giant leap for space travel. SpaceX launched a previously used rocket to take a commercial satellite into space. It's the first time a rocket has been reused. Recycling them will cut costs. This one came back to Earth a year ago. Eventually, SpaceX hopes to cut that turnaround time to just one day. Happy World Backup Day. Right. Today is the day people around the globe are encouraged to back up their computers and other electronic devices. 30% of users are believed to have never backed up their electronics. And this could be a glimpse at the movie theater screen of the future. It's Samsung's new 34-foot screen just unveiled at a conference in Las Vegas. They say it's 10 times brighter than what's in theaters now. No word on price or when it'll be put to use. Point of reference. Yeah. Our little screen back here, 24 feet. Have a good one. Hi, I'm Frank. I take Movantic for OIC, opioid-induced constipation. Had a bad back injury. My doctor prescribed opioids, which helped with the chronic pain, but backed me up, big time. Tried prunes, laxatives, still constipated. Had to talk to my doctor. She said, how long have you been holding this in? <laughs> that was my Movantic moment. My doctor told me that Movantic is specifically designed for OIC and can help you go more often. 
Don't take Movantic if you have a bowel blockage or a history of them. Movantic may cause serious side effects, including symptoms of opioid withdrawal, severe stomach pain and or diarrhea, and tears in the stomach or intestine. Tell your doctor about any side effects and about medicines you take. Movantic may interact with them, causing side effects. Why hold it in? Have your Movantic moment. Talk to your doctor about opioid-induced constipation. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. When my youngest, Addie, was two and a half, she was diagnosed with leukemia. When we first heard that diagnosis, you feel extremely alone. Walking in that light the night light with 6,000 people carrying lights, white for survivors, red for supporters, gold in memory of those who have passed. It's the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's hope that every year there are fewer gold lanterns. Your lantern will make a difference. Start a team, join a team. Help us light the night. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, restaurant guide, and more. Go to MySuncoast.com slash dining. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Pradoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Pradoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. For years I've told everyone my Craftmatic adjustable bed was the greatest until I got the new Craftmatic Legacy. It has an adjustable pillow feature that's awesome. You're going to want one, too, when you see how little they cost. If you've ever had a bad night's sleep, call and price the new Craftmatic Legacy. It has so much more than other adjustables and still costs up to 50% less. Featuring a rising adjustable pillow rest, bedside power plugs, underbed night lights, and more. Available in all mattress types with optional heat and soothing massage. For as much as half the price of Tempur-Pedic Sleep Number and other adjustables, enjoy temporary relief of low back pain, nighttime heartburn, mild arthritis. Adjust the rising pillow feature to help align your head, neck, and shoulders. See for yourself with our 30-day in-home trial. So call Call and price one today for less, up to 50% less. You get so much more and it still costs less. You got to see how little they cost. Call 1-800-237-0214. That's 1-800-237-0214. Call 1-800-237-0214. Call now. There's a whole new way to bank at Achieva Credit Union with Achieva Checking Plus. Get new unique features like full ID theft protection and online shopping rewards. Plus, it's an interest-bearing account, so you have a little extra for what really matters. Achieve a Checking Plus isn't just an account for your money. It's for your life, including cell phone insurance. And that's good to know. Discover the plus at AchievaCU.com. Achieva. Banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It is finally Friday. The mm -hmm. weekend is almost here. I'm Jacqueline Matter. I'm Ray Collins. The weekend arrives, and mm. so too does the rain. <laughs> Interesting timing there. Details from meteorologist John Scalzi. Well, the good news is, with the weekend arriving, the rain is ending. So we're getting the rain on Friday, and then the weekend looks sunny and nice. So. That's my gift to you today, Ryan. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a trade. That's my gift to you. We're looking at a, a chance at some very much needed rainfall as this, this large mass of showers rapidly moves closer to the Sun Coast. It's still about 30 miles offshore, the leading edge of it, but it's a pretty thick mass of showers uh, from side to side, 60 to 100 miles in, in, uh, in width. So yeah, we'll have a morning filled with the chance of some showers and maybe even a pop of lightning or two as well. That's one thing we'll be watching pretty carefully. 300 and 31 lightning strikes over the last couple hours out there in Gulf waters, but mostly to our south, mostly far out as that gets closer and closer to us, the chance of 
lightning decreases. So we'll talk all about how much rain we think we may get coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, John. Sounds good. Checking the roads right now. All clear right now in Manatee County. There is a big issue right now, though, on university construction crews have shut down the westbound traffic on University at I-75. So if you're trying to leave Lakewood Ranch, uh, we can go farther south, I think, on the maps there. Uh, it's University has a problem there until 6 a.m., and I believe it resumes later on as well. Say it. Oh, yes, till 6 a.m. tomorrow as well, from 10, 10 p.m. tonight till 6 a.m. tomorrow. So that's an issue there. Also, the rest of Sarasota mm -hmm. County, you see a little north and southbound issue at 41 in B Ridge. And then also uh, down the lower part of your screen, something at Clark Road. And, of course, that ongoing construction issue on 41, way down the lower right corner of your screen between Warm Mineral Springs and Tarpon Point. Developing overnight, a portion of Interstate 85 in Atlanta has collapsed after a massive fire broke out under the busy highway during rush hour traffic. Yeah, it happened last night about 6 o'clock at the peak of the day. Fortunately, no injuries. It's believed the fire was fueled by giant spools of plastic utility conduits, which were being stored under the overpass. Engineers said they were worried about the fire melting the metal under the bridge. More than 250,000 cars use this interstate as their main commute, and the interstate is still closed this morning. New details about that pickup truck that struck a bus full of people on a church retreat in Texas. Police say they received phone calls about the truck driving erratically before the accident happened. Thirteen people were killed Wednesday afternoon. The driver of the truck survived, but his condition is critical. The bus was carrying a church group coming back from a three-day retreat. Lawmakers in North Carolina have passed a bill that repeals the state's controversial bathroom law in a move meant to end a year of turmoil that saw businesses leave and major sporting events and concerts canceled. Andy Rose has more on that story. For over a year now, House Bill 2 has been a dark cloud hanging over our great state. After a year of protests and boycotts, North Carolina is repealing its controversial bathroom bill. The bill restricted use of public restrooms and locker rooms based on, quote, biological sex, language many interpreted as discrimination against transgender people. It has stained our reputation. It has discriminated against our people. And it has caused great economic harm in many of our communities. Backlash from HB2 is thought to have cost the state millions in revenue. Companies canceled plans to expand, big-name music acts canceled concerts, and in what was probably the biggest blow, the NCAA pulled all of its college tournaments from the state. We begin to bring back jobs and sporting events. We begin to repair our reputation. And while the new bill removes language over who can use restrooms, critics say it too puts transgender people in harm's way. But Governor Roy Cooper promises House Bill 142 is only the beginning for ensuring equal protection for all of North Carolina. Today's law not only provides for LGBT protections now, but opens the door for more in the future. I'm Andy Rose reporting. So it's interesting that also the NCAA, you know, originally asked them to repeal this law, but they're now taking a look at it later next week to decide whether they repealed it enough or if that language in that new law is um, still a little bit of discrimination in it. It's been an issue here also at the uh, Sarasota County School District where a student from Pineview right. wanted access as well. So certainly an issue that you didn't hear much about a few years ago. Yeah, definitely has come under, uh, shed some light on it in recent months, recent years as well. That's right, 534 right now, new this morning. Lieutenant General Michael Flynn says he has a story to tell, but only if congressional investigators grant him immunity from prosecution. President Trump fired the ex-national security advisor for lying about communications he had with the Russian ambassador before taking office. The Senate investigation is now underway. Witnesses testified that Russia used thousands of paid Internet trolls to push out fake news to help meddle in the election of uh, last November. A former FBI agent even accused the president of doing the same as well. The commander-in-chief has used Russian active measures at time uh, against his opponents. The commander in chief has used Russian active measures at time against his opponents. 
This is also another roadblock for the House Intelligence Committee. GOP Chair Devin Nunes recently revealed the president and his transition team were swept up in incidental intelligence reports. Nunez not only learned the details during a mystery meeting on White House grounds, the New York Times reports the intelligence came from two Trump administration officials. Back in this area, a Manatee County teacher has been suspended after an alleged case of child abuse inside a classroom. It happened at Bayshore Elementary School. Now, according to an incident report filed by the Manatee County Sheriff's Office, a teacher allegedly took a seven-year-old boy by the backpack or hood of his jacket, pulled him out from under a table, and then drug him approximately seven feet across the classroom. The report notes a small red mark found on the child's neck. The district, county, and state all have open investigations, but at this time, no charges have been filed. Should there not be an arrest in this matter, should there not be um, furtherance of any prosecution against the teacher, it does not mean the district's investigation is closed as unfounded. That teacher is not being identified as those investigations still remain open. A nice break from the usual for some local students after a visit from the staff of the Tampa Bay Lightning. A former player was at Oak Park School in Sarasota. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates has more on why they were there. The shot is good. By the looks of it, you wouldn't be able to tell that that player is new to the sport. In fact, for the entire group of students from the Oak Park School in Sarasota, this was their first introduction to hockey. We uh, put them through some drills and then we play a game with them. Jason Cullimore is a former Lightning player turned Lightning Community Hockey Director. For the past year, him and his staff have visited area schools as part of their outreach. Thursday, that effort took them to Oak Park, a special needs school for students from pre-K to age 22. That when, that, when someone scored, it didn't matter which team, they were excited. Um, some of the celebrations that we saw there when, when they were scoring was, was the best we've seen. So it's, you know, the smiles on their face and the, they really enjoy it and, and uh, just the energy level is very high. Sentiments echoed by the students participating in the event and they told ABC7 they learned many valuable lessons. I learned not whack anyone with a stick. It did pretty good when I was trying to get the ball. Uh, it was actually pretty fun. In addition to the experience, Cullimore says the school will also get a benefit that will keep giving when the Lightning staff leaves. The school gets uh, two nets, set of sticks, balls, jerseys, and four sets of goalie equipment that we leave here so that they can continue to play hockey during their PE class. In addition, each student participating in the program got a free game ticket, a stick and a ball to take home, as well as an autographed card. Bo Beth Yates, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Uh-oh. We're getting a swarm on the field. A pack of bees swarmed the field. The Rockies and Padres didn't know what to do. They hit the deck. Look at this bizarre scene from spring training yesterday when the teams fell flat when bees stormed the infield during the ninth inning. <laughs> Looks like a, a practical joke. Mannequins. The players stayed down for almost 10 seconds before standing up to a round of cheers from fans. I'm going to take a line from our director who said that they were uh, planking out there on the field. <laughs> yeah, so that's always good for you as well. All right, 538 right now. Well, this weekend it begins. Sarasota goes to Hollywood. The Sarasota Film Festival opens, but it's also time to strike up the band and take in a good stage show as well. Linda Carson has it all in this week's Suncoast scene. This nine and a quarter foot surfboard symbolizes the 19th annual Sarasota Film Festival and the opening night film. It's going to be one of the biggest nights of the year in Sarasota. We're going to have a red carpet, starts around 5, 5.30. We're going to start the film itself promptly at 6, 6.10 because it's two hours long. It's a lovely film uh, that is a great documentary. It showed at Sundance to, to wide accolades. The film is called Take Every Wave. Its director, Rory Kennedy of The Kennedys, will be here to discuss it. Which is the documentary about big wave surfer Laird Hamilton. And then right after that is our opening night block gala party. And that's incredibly exciting right in front of the uh, Sarasota Opera House. The more than 200 films will start at the Hollywood 20 on Saturday. And there will be panel discussions. The first inspired by the festival film Citizen Jane Battle for the City. We have a designing a sustainable Sarasota panel. Um, and that's all about sort of the changes to the town and, and 
deliberately designing uh, a Sarasota that uh, is more conscious and environmentally friendly. On Sunday evening, uh, we have the Hollywood Nights, which is a uh, youth fest event, red carpet for local filmmakers, uh, filmmakers in training like students in the area who get to share with uh, all of Sarasota all the films that they've been working hard on in school and on their own. The festival runs through April 9th. And this weekend at the Venice Theater, the Silver Foxes present Seasons of Love. The Silver Foxes are celebrating their 25th anniversary. They're ages 55 and up, and they present an incredible show. You should come because you'll see a wonderful mix of things. That the singers have come such a long way through the years. They're magnificent. They really are. And, and the dancers are always fantastic. We all love what we do and we try to give you the best show we can. The Silver Foxes, Thursday through Sunday at the Venice Theater. And the Manatee Community Concert Band presents a tribute to American composers with a concert called American Celebration. It'll raise your spirits and thrill your heart. It's free at Manatee High School, April 1st at 7.30 p.m. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Thanks so much, Linda. Once again, the Sarasota Film Festival starts today, runs through April 9th. There, will, there was a block party at the Sarasota Opera last night to start the festivities. More than 200 films are screened each year right here in Sarasota. The festival brings some of the best new and veteran independent filmmakers. Movie Maker Magazine named it one of the top 25 coolest film festivals in the world. Yeah, it's gotten bigger every year. And also it includes an event tonight, a, fill, a free showing, a Moonlight Movie on the Beach. We're going to show uh, Finding Dory, Jacqueline's favorite. <laughs> the presentation begins at sunset, rain or shine. So bring blankets and chairs to watch Finding Dory on Siesta Beach tonight, all part of the Film Fest's activities. Yeah, I even asked John. I wanted to make sure the rain was not going to be here for that. And he said, we are good to go. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's a wonderful movie. I love Finding Dory. Oh, so <laughs> She's sweet. my favorite. I haven't, I haven't seen that either. Oh, oh it's great. You see oh, it, it really is a beautifully done movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think it might be a little breezy. And okay. the sand might be a little damp, right? But uh, the rain shower chance probably you know, five, ten percent. So much less than the seventy percent we're looking at here in the yeah. next hour. So <laughs> talk about that in a second. All right. Well, still ahead, local dentists teaching the importance of dental hygiene. What pro program they're offering to Suncoast students today? Coming up next in your Health Smart. There's a whole new way to bank with Achieva Checking Plus. You get new features like cell phone protection for three phones, plus an interest-bearing account. And that's good to know. Discover all the benefits at AchievaCU.com. Achieva. Banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. My name is Luke Perry and I am one million strong. I'm in the fight against colorectal cancer because I believe we can win it. Colon and rectal cancers are the second leading cause of cancer deaths among men and women in the U.S. Colon cancer is preventable. Know the risk factors and make sure to get screened. There are simple take-home options available. Take control of your health. Screening for colon cancer isn't embarrassing. It can be life-saving. To find out more about your options, visit fightcrc.org. Day at four on Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts on Suncoast View. We're giving RVing a try with Suncoast reality TV stars. Plus, our beauty expert has hair and skin help. Gold Rush barbecues in the kitchen. Today at four on Suncoast View. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $10 a month. 
you'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular received a JD Power Award for highest customer service. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and switch now. For a limited time, get your first month of service free. Call 800-457-2317, go online, or visit a Target store today. I'm calling in regards about my mother, and I'm here, and I just want to thank you because it saved my mother's life yesterday. And I'd like to know the names of the people that came in and saved her. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you. With Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-962-4112. That's 1-800-962-4112. Call now, 1-800-962-4112. There's a whole new way to bank with Achieva Checking Plus. You get new features like full ID theft protection, and that's good to know. Discover all the benefits at AchievaCU.com. Achieva, banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we have an air temperature coming in at 65 degrees. We have a lot of cloud cover out there, the precursor to the rain showers that will be coming our way. And we have a pretty high dew point coming in at 63. Then the thing is that over the weekend, even over the evening, we're going to watch those dew points start to fall once again. So we'll be looking at a very nice weekend. Temperatures across the region generally hovering between 70 degrees and mid-60s inland. So we have a lot of cloud cover that's moved into our picture. That cloud cover has within it some uh, pretty heavy rainfall, which we'll talk about in a second. But the important part, I think, is back behind that is some clearing skies, and that'll be headed our way as early as this afternoon. All this tan color is dry air filling up the Gulf of Mexico. That's coming our way as we head into the weekend. Should be a glorious weekend. So there have been lots of lightning pipes, pops, over the last uh, four hours. But I'll tell you what. If, if you kind of watch what's going on here, you'll notice that the heaviest of the lightning is concentrated to the south with a more sporadic uh, kind of profile to the north, which is what is in line with our shore. And the reason for that is that as you get closer to shore, the, the water temperatures start to cool, and so the, the moist environment necessary for these bigger thunderstorms starts to decline, and consequently they tend to die out as they get closer to shore. A little bit of light rain falling, but the heavier stuff still out in the Gulf. Now bear in mind that as that gets closer to us, the amount of rainfall that we're going to get will start to decrease. Show you that in a second. That looks pretty serious, right? But if we kind of slice through it and take a look at just how tall some of these cells are, they're not all that impressive. I mean, especially as you get closer to the shoreline, you're under 20,000 feet for the uh, for the uh, the cells themselves. So some larger cells out in the Gulf, but the tendency is for them to decrease in height as they get closer, as I mentioned, to shore, an indication of a weakening system. So we're not looking at severe weather here. We are watching some pops of lightning, though, and we're thankful that they're decreasing. It's about 25 miles from shore now, the, the heaviest of the rainfall, the leading edge, as you would. And that puts it about roughly an hour away from the onset of the heavier rains. Now, out here in the Gulf, under those taller cells, you're getting some inch and a half rains. But closer to the coastline, uh, those rain, sh uh, the rain rates decrease to about a half an inch an hour. And it'll get less than that as you get closer to shore. So, you know, you're looking at, a, what, a 75% decrease here in the uh, intensity of the rains as you get closer and closer to shore. And I think that's what's in store for us this morning. Maybe a quarter inch to a half an inch total rainfall we'll pick up if we're lucky. I'd like to see that. 70% chance of some rain, though, for most folks. And a breezy afternoon. Uh, as we head into tomorrow, plenty of sunshine wall to wall and then kind of unsettled weather next week as a front stalls right over us. Back to you guys. Oh boy. Okay. Thank you, John. Let's check the roads first off in central Sarasota County this time and we'll see a little bit of a slowdown at uh, Clark Road. But first off, let's go back to the top there. University at Lakewood Ranch. An issue there is actually wrapping up shortly. The road was uh, shut down due to some construction work for the westbound lane. So that is changing now at about 6 o'clock. That should reopen for a while overnight. Folks had to take uh, 
the interstate up to State Road 70 to get westbound out of Lakewood Ranch. Not the case now. About 6 a.m. that should be wrapping up. Back to the maps now, you'll see the usual slowdowns on State Road 70 and also 301. Farther south now to Sarasota County, we'll see uh, no problems right now besides down there a construction issue continues between War Mineral Springs and Tarpon Point. In health news, scientists say they have developed a smartphone accessory to measure a man's fertility. Yeah, with this new technology, an external accessory to the phone analyzes a sperm sample. It could make testing as easy as a home pregnancy test and might cost as little as $50. This new technology is still a few years away, but the team behind it hopes it'll encourage more men to do testing, especially since infertility may be a sore spot for some men. The study was led by Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School as well. Florida Governor Rick Scott is explaining why it's so important that we fight the Zika virus. He's making his way across the state with his latest roundtable discussions on Zika preparedness. He was in West Palm Beach Thursday to talk about ways to prevent the Zika virus from spreading, especially now that the rainy season is approaching. The big thing is be prepared. No standing water, wear protective gear, clothing. You can help prevent the spread of Zika by getting rid of standing water around your homes. Mosquitoes tend to live near homes, so together we're in control of eliminating them. And we all know it's crucial to teach kids the importance of going to the dentist from a very young age. Yeah, some dentists and some dental students are making sure that happens. About 35 kids will take part in the ninth annual We Care Project at Manatee Technical College this morning. Dentists will be offering their time to provide teeth polishing, fluoride treatments, oral health screenings, and dental education to kids who may not have access to dental care. The project runs several times throughout the year for Manatee District students. The event will be held at the college's east campus from 9 a.m. until noon. Nice project. Nice of the uh, dentists to volunteer their time. Yeah, I've actually done a story similar to that before, and some of those kids have never even seen a dentist. Sometimes. Yeah, very. I, my uncle was a dentist growing up, so every six months we had to get right to it. All right. Yeah. Well, stay with us. We'll be right back with more news and weather. With a top prize of $10 million, the new $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery is your ticket to take on the world. The new $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery. One of our life-changing scratch-offs offering billions in cash prizes. I was always worried and scared. Mom was in pain. She wasn't going to get any better, and all the trips to the ER were painful for all of us. Then we called Tidewell Hospice, and everything changed. Now she has care in our home when she needs it, surrounded by family. We know we don't have much time left with Mom, but we decided to make the best out of that time. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. You can do something about a crime, any crime, and you can receive a reward of up to $3,000 cash. Call Crime Stoppers with information about criminal activity, unsolved crimes, drug dealers, fugitive criminals, stolen property, illegal weapons. Call 366-TIPS. You will remain anonymous. Visit SarasotaCrimestoppers.com. Download the Crime Stoppers P3 mobile app from the Apple iTunes Store or Google Play. Call Crime Stoppers 366-TIPS. Paid for by the Attorney General's Office, Crime Stoppers Trust Fund. <laughs> I took my first handful of pills, and that's when all my priorities seemed to change. He would ask to use the bathroom in other people's homes. He just assumed that they would have medication. He'd go in their medicine cabinets and steal prescription drugs. I wish I knew really what these prescription pills were. We were so naive about the whole drug thing. These are all synthetic forms of heroin. Keep your medication locked up because you'll never notice that a pill is gone. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. 
The agents at SWC would like to show you pictures of all the homes that they've sold quickly for their clients. But they're just too many to show. Contact SWC today and find out for yourself. We just market your home better. If you've ever had a bad night's sleep, call and price the new Craftmatic Legacy. It has so much more than other adjustables and still costs up to 50% less. Featuring a rising adjustable pillow rest to support your head, neck, and shoulders. Bedside power plugs, under bed night lights, and more. So call and price one today for less. Up to 50% less than Tempur-Pedic Sleep Number and other adjustables. You get so much more and it still costs less. You've got to see how little they cost. Call 1-800-774-8103. That's 1-800-774-8103. Call now. Unusual room service at this hotel in Buffalo. Yeah, this is what appears at your door. The Westin in Buffalo has a robot butler. It delivers everything to guests from cocktails to wellness gear. There's the cocktails. There's the wellness gear. The elevator doors can also be a hit for you. And also, a guest will know that he's outside or she's outside. <laughs> the robot debuted in December and has become a big hit at the Westin in Buffalo. It doesn't have a name yet. The hotel is about one of 20 places around the world that has a <laughs> robot. I like that. No, no awkward small talk and also no tipping. That's true. <laughs> right? I feel like a lot of people would like that. I want one of those now. I'm sure lots of people here would enjoy one of those. Yeah, yeah. in certain areas, <laughs> yes, that's right. That's a good idea, too, because if you've ever ordered room service in a, in a busy hotel, you know, it can be two hours before someone shows up. How does it carry up. the room service, though? And how do other question. guests not hijack <laughs> your drink as it comes towards your <laughs> room? <laughs> <laughs> right. We're going to have a, more news in two minutes. Stay with us.